Hey guys, what's going on? Matt Dieterich here and thanks for joining us on another video. Today I want to take a deep dive into an observatory that was a design build client for this beautiful 16 and a half foot ash dome with a plane wave CDK 700 telescope here in California. And this one is really neat because the client wanted to be able to have full capability of remote control anywhere he is. So what we did was we did a full automation package with weather station, all sky camera, and tied in that to our dome control system. All of that is gonna talk with Voyager for automation. This client is really excited for astrophotography. So we're gonna jump in, do a little behind the scenes and show you what we've built here, guys. Stay tuned. Right, guys so we're just outside of the control room and you can see a little bit behind me on the side of the roof we have a weather station and an all sky camera the all sky camera just lets the client log in over the internet and see the exact conditions of the sky right now so it's just a visual cue in case you want to double check if there's clouds or if you want to do some cool time lapses of the night sky that all sky camera can record those and you can create cool videos with it also on top of the roof next to the all sky camera is our weather station and the weather station is tied directly into the dome controller so even in the event that somehow the computer loses connection to the weather station since the dome controller is talking directly to the weather station it can close the dome under any unsafe conditions say clouds rain or in the daytime we can set different brightness levels so that the dome controller is not going to open at all during the day but we can change all those settings when we're doing maintenance on the system but basically that gives us a smooth setup for automation and gives us a good starting point for running this thing 100 percent autonomous so we also have two mini split hvac units on the observatory here and with this it allows us to keep the interior of the observatory closely matching the external temperatures because in astronomy you want your telescope system to be equilibrated to the environment and if it's 70 degrees outside at night you want your telescope to be starting an imaging run about the same temperature ideally because you're going to have a lot better images with less distortion so we put in two mini splits and those can be controlled over the internet and with the wi-fi system here All right guys, so we'll continue doing the tour and now we're in the control room here. So the client, the only thing he's waiting on is a railing to get finished for inside the dome. And then he's waiting on a nice custom desk to be made for the computer setup. But we did a beautiful rack. It has all of the automation system in it that allows everything to be controlled locally, but also remotely. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some of that. And then we'll jump into the dome and go through some of the equipment up there on the telescope. go ahead and jump up into the dome so we have pretty cool red lights that we can turn on or we can go to just white so of course right now it's still bright out but we can go to our night vision and keep the red lights on for when we do visual observing but we have the epic cdk 700 <laughs> the client had an astrophysics ricardi honders 305 so we put that piggyback on top so he's going to be able to do some cool wide field shooting with it and then we have the main camera being a Moravian C5-150, so it's a big one. We have the five position filter wheel in it, 65 millimeter filters. And then on the other side, we just have our visual eyepiece, so we get to do visual observing through the 0.7 meter telescope. It's pretty sweet.
So behind me we have our dome control system and we started out with the base package from Astrometric and then we had our engineer come in, Greg Stafford, and he went through and then he improved that base dome control system. So now everything is tied in for automation, ready to run, and it uses the Maestro controller software. So everything allows for full automation and independent control of the upper and lower shutters. So it's pretty neat. And right now we're just gonna wait for it to get dark out, but all the shutters are open right now. The fans are on, the HVAC systems and the exhaust fan are running. So we're just waiting for everything to equilibrate and waiting for it to fully get dark out now. Alright guys, I'll show you the last few pieces inside the observatory that really help make everything run a lot smoother. We have an exhaust fan that helps pull air out and let the telescope equilibrate quicker, but it also keeps ground effect seeing to a minimum because we're getting what should be laminar flow from pulling air through the dome slit, down across the telescope and out to exit the observatory. That makes sure everything cools off quicker and it runs a lot better. And then next to that, we have a battery backup UPS, and that is tied into the dome controller. So that, in the event of a power failure at this site, that would prevent the observatory from closing. If there was a storm or for whatever kind of power outage that happens, this battery backup is gonna let the dome open and close numerous times in the event of emergency with that power outage. But with it tied into the dome controller, it's gonna sense that the power at the observatory level is out, and it's gonna keep the dome closed, or in the event that it was open, it's gonna tell the dome controller to shut the shutter, and it's gonna keep everything safe in case any weather comes in. Thanks again for watching guys. We just wrapped this one up, finished up more user training for this design build observatory our team constructed. It's gonna be really cool to do all the remote imaging with this client under the dark skies here in California. But thanks again for watching and keep looking up. Clear skies guys, catch you next time, bye bye.